get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let them. Alright guys, before this video gets started, as y'all know, I've officially released my merchandise website. If you want to go check it out, it'll be right up here. Super excited to finally get merchandise out to you guys, but just wanted to give you guys a code to get 10% off. It's going to be right here. The code is RK26. So if you go into the shop, use that code to get 10% off your purchase. And uh, yeah, it's going to be valid through March 31st, so make sure if you're going to get merchandise you want 10% off, you use that code by the end of the month. Like I said, super excited to get this out to you guys. Hopefully you guys can just rep it out. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. What is up, guys? As you know, in North Carolina, we are headed to North Carolina State right now to practice. Probably going to be about two hours, just get like our work in, get some BP, some team defense and stuff like that. Had breakfast earlier this morning. It's 10.30 right now, so leaving at 1040 and then practice starts at 11. I will see y'all at NC State's field. It's 545 right now. We are about to head to the Avalanche Hurricanes hockey game tonight. Huge matchup in the NHL, so it's going to be a super fun game to watch. Game starts at 7, going to get there a little bit early, get situated with the seats and stuff, and probably also going to end up getting dinner there as well. So, super excited to go to this game, and I will see you all there. Good morning vlog. It is about 9.30. Gonna head down to the lobby and get breakfast. Game tonight was originally scheduled for 6, but it's now moved to 4, so 2 hours difference there. The game last night was pretty cool. Lots of action within the game. Probably one of the best NHL games of the year, so super cool that we all got to see that. It was about a 0-0 game until the last 5 minutes in the third period. And the goal scored was like kind of like a lucky goal, I guess you could say. So pretty cool game. Could be the Stanley Cup this year. So pretty cool that we got to go see that. But we now have three games. So we're back to business there. Super excited to start ACC play as well. So big weekend ahead for the boys. The best fielding team in the country. They come to town taking on one of the best hitting teams in the country at NC State. Here's the ace on three and two. Gives up a line drive to left center. Carter puts has left the building. And Notre Dame strikes on the solo shot. He hits a base hit to left field. And Notre Dame is back within a run. There's the first two out hit of the day for the Fighting Irish. Jarrett swings. Pokes one to right field. This is a long run and a diving catch. Brooks Coetzee and turns two. Part, uh, just enough of that inner part of the plate. Brannigan smokes the first pitch in the center. Here's the tying run, Miller to the plate, and Notre Dame has tied it. McClinsky searching for a 1-2-3 inning. And he gets it with a changeup. Now can the nation's leader in hits continue that stretch as he goes down swinging. McClinsky unafraid of the challenge. Now Brannigan works on three and two. Gets the strikeout and we go to the 12th. The 2-1 is absolutely uncorked down the left field line. And that's a home run for Zach Preisner. 
really broke a lot of the offense. Now grounds one to third. And that'll do it for the Fighting Irish. No, it is not on the error. Another run for Notre Dame. Spoke too soon on my part. Now can Carson Kelly overcome some damage here as this ball falls down for a base hit. The catcher for Notre Dame steps up big time and Neri doubles the lead for Notre Dame. And the Irish get it via the punch out. Lights out bullpen effort for Notre Dame. 15 combined strikeouts as the Irish win game one. Huge win for the boys tonight. Wasn't looking too good there for the first few innings, but Irish turned the tide, ended up getting the win 8-4. Getting off to a 1-0 start against these guys is huge for us. Huge momentum builder to hopefully win the weekend. Great performance from the hitters. Just really got the work done. Praz hit a home run. Potts hit a home run. Brannigan doing it on both sides of the field today. Just overall good team win and... Not much else to do for the rest of the night. Eat dinner, so pretty much just going to relax now. Got a 2 o'clock game tomorrow, so we're going to have to get things going a little bit earlier. Probably going to head to the field a little bit earlier as well. Hopefully, by the end of tomorrow, we are off to a 2-0 start. So, guys, today's game ended up getting canceled. It was super cold out, rainy, and there was a chance of snow during our game as well. So they decided to cancel it for today. There's going to be only one game tomorrow, I believe. I think there's a chance we play two games, depending on how the weather is, but not quite sure on the plan for tomorrow. All I know is that there's a game at 1. I believe still. I'm not sure if they have changed that game yet. We'll see later tonight, probably, what the schedule for tomorrow will be like. So... Rest of the day, pretty much just hanging out. We got a lift in at NC State, just like a little mobility lift to keep us moving, just around sitting around all day, which is probably smart. Also through at the field as well. So got the work in for the day, should be good. Also lose an hour of sleep tonight, so we're going to have to go to sleep a little bit earlier to still get about eight hours of sleep. I guess I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning vlog. It's about nine o'clock. Got to get the bus packed by 9.45, so going to go get some breakfast now. Packed my bag last night. Let's go get another win and end this road trip off with a little undefeated streak. So, huge game today for us. I'll see y'all at the field. The final game of the series at Dope Field at Dill Park. And this brown ball sneaks through. Carter puts with his 12th RBI of the year. Those little moments that are happening in compounding for NC State that have gotten them out of games. Here's the long throw to first. So another run scores for Notre Dame on the ground out by Coetzee. And White chases the breaking ball. Good job to complete the strike gap there for Lamana for the first down. Now Carter Putz looks to extend the lead. As he pokes one to right center, there's Marcy with the catch. Notre Dame tags and scores. So 4-0 fighting Irish, cashing in Jared Miller. This is a constant battle with himself. Nice snag it short by Prizer. No way, no way, and the pick is there. Oh my goodness, Notre Dame's defense is fantastic. Now the payoff. Got him swinging, runner off for second, and a double play. Notre Dame pulls it off to perfection. Uh, Temple coming in last inning, strike him out, throw him out. This ball gets away, so a tough play for Lamana. Who makes it on the pick? Nice job by Putz at first base. Now the 2-2 is rolled to short. There's one. And an inning-ending double play. Now the 0-1. This gets away from Godman, and the runner heads to the plate. Notre Dame scores. Second runner comes in, and Harrison drops the ball. So two runs in. And he does, smacking a line drive into the corner for a base hit. This ball rolls all the way to the wall, and a turn for third for Williams. What a knockout blow in the ninth inning. Oh, called out at third base. And the call is overturned. You try to just pass the baton. Notre Dame's defense all over it, and the Fighting Irish win an eighth straight road conference series. Made it back to the dorm last night, had class today, got all that done with, and huge sweep for the Irish this weekend. 
and we have officially come in at number one on two polls so good news for us super exciting stuff first official home game is tomorrow and that will be in the next vlog but hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give this video a nice thumbs up and also click the bell for post notifications so every time i post a video you guys won't miss out and yeah guys that's gonna be it and i will see y'all next week peace out y'all